Hello and welcome back to the rest of the 2021 Swim Week Q&A. If you haven't seen parts one and two, go check them out so this makes a lot more sense. But here we are, there was a lot of really, really good questions. I honestly think modeling questions are the main thing that I always have gotten. And I'm really excited to one, realize that I am able to help because like I mentioned kind of in the swim week, a lot of these things I know from experience I feel like are common knowledge, but to someone who's never been in the industry before, it's really not. So with that being said, let's get into this little like bonus video Q&A. Getting ready to walk. Okay, so I think it's a little bit of both. I've actually walked this stage that I've walked before a long time ago, but it was on the other side and there was actually a stage. This time it was like just all on the floor and those lights when we were in rehearsal, you can't see the audience. Those lights were so bright and the runway, I, I prefer a longer runway personally. It's like better to get into your groove. But by the second look and the second show, I was completely relaxed. I was just like, let's do this. Like I want to get good content. I want to get good pictures on the end of the runway, but it's, it's a good mix. <music> So the next question, and I don't love putting exactly what I do out there because again, everybody's different. It took me years and years and years to learn the way my body worked when it came to measurements and like doing them the healthy way. So for me, eating and working out and all that, I always normally eat pretty clean. Not that I don't enjoy or don't eat junk food or eat out or eat whatever. I just feel really, really just like slow and sluggish when I'm not eating well. And then those two weeks before is when I really always crack down. I do a little bit of cardio almost every day even when I'm not prepping for something it just like gets me up and like makes me feel good but I was working out I would say like three to four times a week in those last two weeks doing things that made me feel good I realized more than anything like getting really good sleep and like just like being you know kind of zen while I'm prepping for something like that helps more than like overstimulating my body a workout that I really love doing towards the end that helped with my arms is boxing I've always kind of boxed with my trainers and just like it's a really really good workout you feel so sore in like places you didn't even know you could be sore <laughs> Prep for swim week doesn't affect my mental health just because I kind of know it works for my body like I just talked about. I will say when I was younger, fully transparent, I definitely didn't do things like the most healthy way. Before I was like going out to LA or like for a weekend job or something like that, I would work out so much. Like I remember I'd get up in the morning and like burn like a thousand calories at the gym and then sit in the sauna and then go throughout my day and then go work out again. Like I was so worked up about like what I thought I needed to do versus what my body was actually asking me to do. I would say even up until the past like four or five years I definitely overthought it way too much and definitely was way harder on myself than I needed to be and definitely could have done things a lot healthier and I wish I would have but this year I feel like I have it down packed like yes you can take advice and like watch stuff on YouTube or like TikTok or whatever it is to prep yourself but your body is your body and don't do things that feel wrong for your body if you're hungry eat if you want to take a rest day take a rest day just do whatever feels good to you and I promise you it's gonna help your mental and your your overall look a lot more than really kicking your own ass for no reason. So you don't really necessarily get to pick. Your agent will just like send you to a casting call and then the brand then chooses you whether they want you to walk or not. But the choosing part comes in where like, example on Thursday, I booked three shows and I personally am obsessed with the Liliana Montoya brand. So I chose to walk for that brand. That's when you get to pick. But other than that, it's normally you just show up to a casting or for the best, or you can let your agent know you prefer to go to a casting. You kind of just have to go in and like see what's going on and hope for the best. Do the models get paid during swim week? Yes, they do. I will say, at least from what I know and the people that I know and in my experience, runway is the lowest paid job ever. Um, so yes, the girls are getting paid. It's not like crazy money for me. Um, I'm not getting any special rate for having a following being there. I was there just as a model. I got the same rates as every other model who showed up to that casting. How long does the show, like the runway show usually last? Like, I don't know, like 20, 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. How long does the entire process backstage and all that last? Forever. I was backstage, I think six hours at one show at one point before it started. So like six hours of all that, like waiting and prepping and nervousness for a 30 minute show, but it's 100% worth it. I would say the shows you attended, Courtney, like how long were there, 35 minutes? Yeah, so short. It's really short. Next question. 
No, the suits are not made just for you. Oh, actually this swim week, the, my Boohoo bikini, since that blue bikini had not been launched yet, it was still like a sample size and I put it on and it was way too big. Like my vagina was like fully out. So they did have to alter that one um, just so like I'm not flashing people and they had to like pull up the straps a little bit. That was just because it wasn't like a fully produced product, I'm pretty sure but it ended up fitting amazing. But any other show I've ever done, no, they just give you like what your size is and make it work from there. No, you don't get to keep really any of the swimsuits. Sometimes the brands will like gift you some after or whatever, but no, you always like put your clothes back to where um, they were backstage. Are you required to tan? No, you are not required to tan. However, I've always said, I think my whole life, if you can't tone it, tan it. So I feel like everyone in Miami prefers to be a little bit tan, especially when you're like literally vulnerable under like all these bright lights that show every crevice, cellulite, dimple, like anything on your body. The girls tend to tan. Also, it looks better in photos, but no, you don't have to tan. You can be pale if you want to be. Yes, there are lots of brands okay with tattoos, especially Miami Swim Week. It's a lot more inclusive, but there also are brands who would obviously prefer not, but you can always cover them up. Like there's an option of like wearing a high-waisted bikini or putting on the makeup, but in my experience, there's never been an issue. I personally am getting quite a few of them removed. I've already had two removed and I've been working on getting this one under my rib removed for a long time just because I personally don't like the way it looks in a bikini anymore. But I would say if a, a brand or a director or like a designer wants you in their show, they'll figure it out. Okay, so this is actually a really good question. In 2019, I would say there was a ton of influencers there and I've kind of always seen, not always, but there's always been some there, you know what I mean? Whether they're attending for press, sitting at the shows or walking the shows. The brand obviously is getting more attention if you're walking their show. The Boohoo show, there was a lot of influencers. Every other casting or like show I booked or like show I was even watching backstage, I would say the model to influencer ratio was like way more normal this year. Miami Swim Week is inclusive. If influencers want to be there or influencers who are models want to be there or if anyone wants to be there, I don't think that that should be looked down upon. Uh, next question. Yes, there was definitely a lot of rude interactions. I mean, I kind of explained this to people I was staying with too. I don't know if it's like an un comfortable thing because everyone is like so nervous and there was definitely quite a few people that I've seen and would have expected to be like very sweet in real life who definitely weren't um so that was like a little disappointing I don't want to say mean and rude but just kind of everyone just like a little bit uptight you know what I mean after the show everything's great everyone's happy we're all like having a party whatever but it's definitely a bit tense <laughs> new people yeah i actually did i met a lot of really really cool girls this year liliana montoya herself and the two girls that were helping like put on the whole show they were amazing there was one girl i was walking with at the end of the show she was really sweet i did meet a lot of just um like cool girls in the casting lines too it's really tense walking into those castings like where you're just standing in a line by yourself but if you kind of start talking to someone it's not like mean girl vibes i feel like it's more like two people are kind of assuming the other one's gonna be mean and then once you start talking you're both relieved and you like make new friends but yeah i definitely met a lot of really cool girls this year next question what was it like walking with tessa it was honestly fine a lot of people have this like thing in their head that since there was like a falling out with like team 10 and like everyone there that like we've never talked or never seen each other however i think people forget like we all live in la we all are in the same industry like there's not one person i haven't seen or come in contact with um from that time that like i haven't seen in recent years and i feel like everyone just assumes there's a ton of beef if you saw beef with me from 2017 or like beef over someone or something or some Anything that it is, like you're 100% beefing with yourself. I don't have beef with a single person. I don't hate a single person. But I've seen Tessa multiple times, like throughout the years, at events, like at wherever, and there's absolutely no beef there. If given the chance, what brands would I work with again? Definitely Liliana Montoya. There was a couple of brands that I wanted to walk for that I didn't because the shows were at the same time. But other brands, like outside of Swim Week, there's so many, like Beach Bunny or like SI Swimsuit, or I would love to work with Nessie again, um, the show that I did in 2019. There's a ton of swim brands that I would, I would definitely work for. 
next question the scariest part about the entire experience i think would just be like the timing of getting to everything on time it was like the schedule this year was like beyond crazy and i hate being late and there were so many times where i have to like show up to a casting leave to go to something come back finish the casting go somewhere else so i think the scariest thing for me was like trying to get everywhere on time and then also too, the scariest part for me personally was like those burns on my face that I had going on. Like it definitely didn't make me, and like overthinking that and just like thinking and only focusing on that, that was scary for my like mindset. But other than that, I don't think swim week is scary. I would encourage really any girl who's ever wanted to try modeling or like runway modeling to go to swim week and just try it out and get that under their belt because it's honestly so much fun. And like I said, it's really, really the most like laid back. I'm not gonna say it's like do whatever you want, but it's definitely the most inclusive, more chill, more fun vibe. Next question, what's my favorite part about swim week? I think honestly playing dress up. Like I, I don't on a typical day to day, like I'm normally in sweatpants or like no makeup, a ponytail. I love showing up and showing out and getting the glam and like having a stylist and getting all the cool pictures. Um, it's also really cool to like see a lot of people that I don't get to see from LA and Miami and everyone's just in like such a good mood and so excited. I would just say the atmosphere in general and definitely playing dress up and like channeling all my alter egos. Next question, do y'all even swim? I actually had so many people ask like when I was in LA like what's swim week? Is it like are you trained? Like they thought I was like actually swimming in an ocean or something. Yeah, we swim. I mean I swim. Courtney and I swim in the ocean. Definitely no swimming involved on the runway. However, I think Pretty Little Thing did have water on the runway. So maybe they swim a little bit. Yeah, we swim but not during like the the actual fashion shows. And that is it for the Miami Swim Week 2021 Q&A vlog. If you have any more questions, make sure you comment them down below. Maybe we can do more videos like this. How do you outro? I don't even remember how to outro. So that is it. Um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I can't even do it. How the f do you outro? I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> Who am I? Hey guys, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you like and subscribe. So that is it. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe so we can do more. Give it a thumbs up if you want to. It feels so cringy outroing. I'm just gonna leave. Okay, bye. <laughs>